hi guys welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing in today's video i'm going to show you how to use containers in bootstrap version 5. so a container is a bootstrap class that allows you to wrap and contain the various components or elements that you want to show on your web pages there are three types of container classes available in bootstrap the first one is called the default container class which allows you to design a fixed width container and the second type of container class is called the container fluid class so now let me show you the html code you need to write for both of these container classes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this one so i will say div class and here i will write container so this is for the default container and in here i will say fixed with container and save it and then the second container class will be the container fluid class so i will also say div class and container fluid and in here i will say full width container and then save so let me add some styling so that we will be able to spot the difference between these two containers when I'm going to open my index.html file in my browser. So up here, I'm going to add some styling. So I will say style and I will say like this. Text align center and the color, the text color, I will say white. The next thing I will add is going to be the container class. I'm going to add some style for that class and I will give a background color. I will simply say green. Right. Maybe I'm going to add some height and I'll say 90 pixels. So I'm also going to add some style for the container fluid class. I will say background as well. As for this, I will take India red and the height will also be 80 pixels and then save. So once this is done, I need to open my index.html file in my uh, browser. So as you can see, I have the two containers and uh, you can see how different they are one from the other. So this is the default, the fixed width container, as you can see. And here I have the full width container, which is spanning the entire web page. Like I said, you can note here that the full width container, the container fluid will always provide a full width container, no matter the size of the screen on which the website is showing. That means that its width will always be 100%. To verify that, I will reduce the size of my browser window to simulate mobile device screens. I will reduce, okay. So as I'm reducing, the width is remaining the same. Or if you are using Google Chrome browser, you can click on inspect element and click here on toggle device toolbar, and then you can change the devices you want to test so as you can see on every one of these devices the width of my uh, container fluid is the same so it's always going to be 100 percent all right so now when it comes to the fixed width the one we have at, at the top here the green with a green background color it is a little different because with the fixed width container you can create a responsive container meaning that its maximum width will change dynamically based on the size of the screen so check this out you see that uh, depending on the size when i'm reducing my browser window the width of my container is also changing okay as you can see it's changing based on the size of my uh, browser window that is referring to the size of the screen so the third container class is called the container breakpoint or the responsive container so it allows you to specify a class that is 100 percent wide until a specified breakpoint is reached so let me show you the syntax the css the html code you need to write for that so i will say here break line 
break line. And here I'm going to say div class container hyphen. So, and then you need to specify the breakpoint. I will say SM like this. In here, I'll say responsive container. So, note here the SM here is the breakpoint, and SM stands for small. Okay, it stands for small, and it's also referring to the size of the screen. So, that means that on a small screen size, we can determine the size of our container. I could also write, uh, I would just copy and paste this and then change. I say container MD, so I mean medium. I could say container hyphen LG, that means large. Container XL, that means extra large. I could even say container hyphen XXL, that means extra, extra large. Okay, so what will happen is that, for example, in the, this class container hyphen SM, this container is going to be 100% wide to start and until the SM breakpoint is going to be reached. Right, so, so that will make this container responsive based on the size of the screen. So I'm going to talk much more about these breakpoints in the next video where we're going to talk about um, the grid system in Bootstrap. But uh, for the time being, I think we will stop here. So this is it concerning the Bootstrap containers. So thanks for viewing. I hope this video was informative and let's meet in the next one.